I think Liam's a little bit confused because this is his to-do list and it says Wednesday, but it's actually Thursday. So I think he's a little worn out. Hey, welcome back to part four. This is part four. Hey, welcome back to part four of this Persian dagger build. Um, right now, I have the dagger straight with the bolster parallel to the tang and the ricasso. The tang and the ricasso are both the same thickness, so we're at a, a really good point here to where the foundation of the knife is done. I've scribed center lines. So now I can grind to those center lines. I did get this a little bit thinner than I was hoping to get, which is just a combination of things that happened. I just didn't do didn't do it as, as well as I was hoping to do it. But so it got a little bit thinner. I was hoping to. Right now it's 187 thousandths, which is 3 16 of an inch, which um, will still be plenty thick. But I was hoping to do some inlays into the spine, and I may not be able to do that now without the additional thickness there. Now that everything is in line. I'm going to begin grinding down this spike, which is what I think is going to be possibly the more difficult part of this project. So let's go ahead and get started with that.
here will take a little bit of a break here. It's a good stopping point for just a little break. Um, I've got everything like not roughed in, but how do I say this? Like nicely roughed in. I've got all of my grinds there, like um, the shapes and the thicknesses and the lines are where they need to be. I just need to take them up to a higher grip now. I've got all this swooped in and all that's nice, so good stopping point. Uh, I also wanted to remind you that there is about one week left on this cool new limited design t-shirt directly goes to support the channel so we can keep making videos for you to watch. So check those out in the link that is in the description below and let's go ahead and get back to grinding. One more thing that I need to do before I start actually taking up to a higher grip is get these plunges symmetrical dead on. I've just eyeballed it up to this point and they're they're pretty close but you can't, I can't anyways eyeball perfectly symmetrical so um, for this bottom one the way that I scribe out my my plunge line is just put a machinist square up to my square bolster here and scribe a line. Now for this top one, what I'm I think what I'm going to do is clamp it in a vise on the tang or on the bolster, and then take a height gauge and run it up to those plunges and scribe a line on both sides and that should give me a uh, symmetrical symmetrical plunge line to grind to there. Let's go ahead and do that. That won't work. So I have to be able to come on to the other side. Oh my gosh. Another one, two, three block. Pro tip, you can never have too many one, two, three blocks. I think I need another one. Oh yeah. Now we're in business. This is awkward. Why don't you move the height gauge just over there? It's easier to move the knife, I think. That'll do. Now we can get to grinding.
that you enjoyed this video and found it informational. Um, I've got the knife now up to a point to where I have all the lines where I need them. They're all very close. Basically what needs to be done at this point is grit refinement. I need to take this up to a higher grit. Right now it's all 120 and 240 grit kind of mixed together. I'm going to take this up to a higher grit in the next part and prepare that for the etching. Why do you have that knife? I'm, I'm about to talk about that, Jacob. Okay. I'm just using it as a pointer. Okay. So this knife is really starting to come together and actually look like what I had envisioned it looking like. Um, and also very similar to the photo that I printed off as an example. And it's just so awesome to do a knife like this. And I want to do more knives like this in the future. And what I mean by knives like this are knives that are very unique, knives that have strange cross sections or do weird things, non-conventional types of knives because um, I like that it's different and I like that um, it's more challenging. Uh, you know, when you look at a knife like this, it to me this is kind of boring and it's, and it's easy and uh, it just doesn't get me excited. You know, this is cool. It's... To me, this is like metal sculpting. And one thing I wanted to talk about um, when it comes to grinding is that when you're grinding, it helps if you think of it as if you're sculpting the steel. So you're walking up to the grinder and you're just sculpting steel. You're not grinding steel. You're taking the edge of the belt, you're taking the contact wheel and you're just, you're sculpting the material into what you want it to look like. And just thinking of it that way helps me um, actually grind better, especially when I'm doing shapes like this with weird cross sections. You know, it's going from a flat into this swooping plunge into a square spike. So it's, um, it, it helps to look at it as if you're sculpting metal, similar to forging. Um, yeah, so I, m my goal for knives from here out, for the most part, is to do strange things, weird things, things that are more difficult, so that it, you know I stay excited. And when I do want to make a knife like this in the future, it just makes it all the more easy. So, um, again, thank you for watching. There's also about a week left on this T-shirt. Don't forget to check that out in the description below, and share with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey, Leo. What? What's today? I thought it was Wednesday, but it's Thursday. Come over here and look at this. This is my list for today. It says Wednesday. Like, I honestly thought that it was Wednesday up until just recently. I found out it was Thursday, so I crossed it. Actually... Thursday. Good job, Dave.